Ah, I poked my eyeball. Hello, and welcome back to another Makeup Monday video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing pink freckles. I love the freckle look. I did it all through last summer, but with browns and stuff. So today we're going to do some really cute pink freckles and some matching pink makeup because my hair is now a dusty pink. And I'm living for it. I've had to dye it twice though because it fades really fast, which is what I wanted. But I love this color. It's such a nice color, I think. Um, so I already put on my foundation and my contour and my eyebrows and all that stuff. So we're just going to go right in with our eyes. So I'm going to start off with... I have this mini Too Faced, um, ugh, uh, blush that I got with a, the Kat Von D thing that they did. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm just going to put that all over my eyelids. And this stuff you have to pick up a lot for it to come off because um, obviously it's a blush and you don't want super pigmented cheeks. So it makes a very nice base for our pink look. We're gonna go in with the, uh, the Kat Von D Alchemist palette. I don't even think you can see that because of the ring light. But it's the Kat Von D Alchemist palette. And we're gonna go in with the pink opal, which is at the bottom right here, with the same brush. And we're just gonna put that towards the inner corner of our eyes. I love this palette. These colors are beautiful. Um, and I find that if you layer them over a similar color, they come out a lot more pigmented and shiny. After we put that in our crease, we're going for a subtle pink look. We're not going for like a hot, hot pink eyeshadow because we're gonna have a lot going on in our face. Um, I'm gonna go back in with the Too Faced. And I'm gonna take the Morphe M173. This big flat brush and we're really gonna dip it in there and then we're gonna start at the outer corner and just blend inwards and then I'm gonna take uh, the Morphe M321 which is a smaller version of that brush and we're gonna use this with the same exact pink and just go a little bit under our eye There, now we kind of look like we have pink eye, but that's okay. It's gonna look cute when we're done. Now I'm just gonna put on some eyeliner. I'm gonna be using the NYX Liquid to Matte, which you see in a lot of my videos. And we're just gonna do a simple little wing cat eyeliner. Eyeliner's on now. Now we're gonna get into the fun part, which is the freckles. And I've never done pink freckles, so we're gonna see how this works. I have the Kat Von D eyebrow brush, which is just this tiny little angled brush, which I've used for freckles in the past, and it works really great because that little point at the end. Um, and I'm gonna go into Urban Decay's Electric Palette. I don't know if they still sell this. I bought this years ago, and it's lasted me a long time. Um, but we're gonna go into Savage up here, which is like this hot, bright pink, and we're just gonna dip the end in it. Just dip the little point, blow it off, and we're just gonna start dotting. I don't know, oh, there we go. You guys can see it when I get real close to the camera. It's not super dark, it's pretty subtle, but we're gonna add more so that it looks more like freckles. A little bit for its pink freckles. Yeah, I don't think you guys can see it all from this, but from up here you can... I just dotted along my cheekbones and then on my nose a little bit. Um, and for anyone who doesn't know, I actually have freckles. And with the ring light, it like I put on like a very thin layer of foundation um, so I can like see my freckles through the foundation when I'm doing this. After we've used a brighter kind of dark pink, I'm gonna go in with the Morphe palette um, that I used in my last Makeup Monday video. And I'm going to use Sweet Beats, which is this one right here, and it's like a reddish color. 
and we are just going to do the same thing and we're just gonna take a little bit on our brush and just dab it on our face so once again you can't really see it until I'm super close to the camera because of this ring light but we have them all here and here and it looks really cute so far I know a lot of people hate fake freckles, but I have real ones, if that makes a difference. Um, so now we have a little bit of red and a little bit of pink. I'm going to go back in with the NYX Vivid Brights in pink, the eyeliner. This, these bristles are just terrible on this brush. I've used a lot of different colors of these and just the pink is the worst. I don't know why. It might just been the one I bought. But we're just going to go back in with this and just dab in the same kind of areas that our pink and red spots already are. We just kind of want to have a more layered look to our freckles. So now we got our face covered in all these cute little pink and red polka dots. It's not supposed to look real if anyone's wondering that. These are not supposed to look real. They're supposed to just look like cute pink freckles. <laughs> Um, so now our freckles are done and last but not least I'm going to use a lip stain a pink lip stain is called lip tattoo hot topic sells it or did sell it um, it comes in a two-pack with red and pink and I've never used the pink I'm just gonna smear this all over my lips lip stains are so uncomfortable and they get all over my teeth when I first put them, put them on but they're so cute afterwards Last but not least, I got this mini NYX butter glass for free when I went to Ulta. So I'm just going to put that a little bit on the inside of my lip just to make it a little bit darker. <gasps> Do you want some too? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching my cute pink freckle tutorial and my pink makeup and lips and everything. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe and follow me for new makeup videos every Monday. Um, if you want to see more pictures of this, they'll be on my Instagram at Cupid of Chaos, which I will link down below for you guys. Um, if you have any other makeup ideas or videos that you want me to film, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time.